I find it really inspiring. I mean, there's a lot of uh, you know film scholars and film theorists who who look at um, uh, you know contemporary Hollywood film, for example, and that's really uh, it's interesting. There's a lot to say about it, but a lot of what we have to say about it is critical. And I really love finding um, films and videos and media works by artists that I don't have to criticize. I don't have to say, oh, this is bad because it's like giving us the wrong impression of um, something about society. I can say, look at this. This is a really great uh, film or video or artwork. And it, it makes us think in a new way. And it gives us new, new perceptions. And it brings something new into the world. And I just, I love that. I just published a book, which I worked on for, goodness, about eight years, uh, dealing with um, looking at contemporary media art and seeing what kind of relationships it has to Islamic art and to Islamic philosophy and saying, look, these are the Islamic roots or the heritage from the Muslim world that our contemporary media art has. And so for that, I did a lot of research and traveling and found there's both um, a lot of things that these art forms have in common, but there's also actual historical links of ways that, is, you know, ideas from you know, 10th or 12th century Baghdad or Cairo or um, you know, Isfahan actually traveled into Europe and influenced European philosophy and European art. And then those ideas have come to our time.